Hey, it's Cruising Cricket. We're here at Watson Mill Bridge State Park. We just want to show you around um, where the campsite is and show you the bridge. So we're drive through. We're at uh, Pioneer 3. Tent and trailer camping. They just make a loop down here. It's really nice. We've never been here before. But we would like to come back and camp soon. But we just want to show you around the camping area. There's one bathroom that's in the center and it just makes one loop around. I think there's like 20 campsites in here. They look like they're a lot of pull through, mostly pull through I think. And there's a pavilion up here on the left. And there's the bathroom in the middle. They have showers as well. Yeah. And here's the sanitary dump station for your camper or RV. It's really nice. There's a little space in between, like some campgrounds that we have visited are just slapped in right next to each other. They have some space in between them, which I like. Looks like there's three, maybe, camping spots right here on the left, no, four. Uh, you know, on the left, like in the middle of the loop. There's a 20 that's available. That looks like a nice one. So it looks like there's 21 campsites right here. It said in Pioneer 3 section. We're here at Watson Mill Bridge, and there's the bridge. It's really neat. We've never been here before. It was built by W.W. W. King in 1885, and it's 236 feet long. That's pretty. You can still drive across the covered bridge. A lot of covered bridges now, you know, they're so old you can't. But this one you still drive across. We're going to do that in just a little bit. It's like a little dock right here. I guess the water comes up here sometimes. That's a lot of water. Here's a picnic table right next to the river. This is a nice picnic area. There's actually only two picnic tables right here, but it has a grill. You're right here. It used to be, um, they used to have a grist mill and uh, a lumber yard right here. Those buildings are no longer here, of course. So I guess that's why this wall is built right here. But here's the other picnic table and grill right next to the river. But all that right there is rock. Oh, I see a man out there on it. It's not, I mean, it, it just goes downhill. It's not just dirt. It's all literally rock from where the water comes over to as far as we can see. This is what it used to look like. It's interesting.
Here's a nature trail. Like a canal down there. See, it's all rock. Says powerhouse raceway trail, straight bottomland trail. There's so much water coming over all this rock, it's kind of loud. I know it's going to hold together, but it's kind of... It was restored in 1976. 73. That too. <laughs> no, actually it might have been 75. No, it was 73. But look, this is cool. There's not a place for you to walk across. You know how some covered bridges have like a path, a pedestrian pathway? That did not. So, probably not a good idea to cross it. You might get run over. Now, look, here's a pavilion over here. Oh, there's two pavilions up there. Let's just drive down. It says parking and picnicking, hiking trail, and bicycle trail. We're going to check out the whole place. So, let's see. Picnic area. Oh, you have to... Oh, I see. There's picnic areas. Um, picnic tables down there. You just get your stuff and walk down there. It wasn't too far. It was just down there on the left. And then the hiking trail just went on straight. It was a mile and a half long. Yeah. Called Beaver Creek. 